Amen. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master Answer me today. Tell your neighbor, Jesus will answer me today. Tell your neighbor that Jesus will answer me today. In Jesus' name. Now pray for your neighbor. Your mountain will move in Jesus' name. As you are standing in his presence, your mountain will move. As you are standing in his presence, your mountain will move. In Jesus' name. Let somebody shout hallelujah. your special touch today and I speak as I speak your word let me not speak of my wisdom my intellect or my own personal understanding fill me up with your spirit oh Lord to deliver what is in your mind to your people today in the mighty name of Jesus thank you our Father for our friend in Jesus name hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are in the mood of. Don't go yet. Hallelujah. I said you are going to support me. Praise God. We are in the season of fasting and prayer. And you know, God knows how to package things. Today, especially packaged Amen. to answer your prayers. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. To the first Sunday of the of the year. The devil knows how I prepared my mind to dance. And he kept knocking. I was uh, knocked down, but I was not knocked out. So I'm here in his presence with dancing. Hallelujah. 
this daughter of Zion sang a song this morning. Said Jesus is the only savior I know. Yeah. Yeah. I call him Abba Father. Yes. I can't remember the lyrics. Please, I need it. Amen. For two minutes, I want us to dance. You see, dancing and praying goes the same way. You know. So I want us to dance to that music, to that uh, ministration. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is the only Savior I know. 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 Hey, hey, I call him Abba Father. Hey, I call him Abba Father. Hey, I call him Abba Father. Jesus is the only In their administration, they said every time I call on the name of Jesus, something happens. Yes. Something happens when you call upon his name. Yes. Something will definitely happen. Amen. I've experienced that. Yes, so I've I have seen it happen. Mm -hmm. When you call upon the name of Jesus, something, something happens. Mm -hmm. And they said something. They said everyone will respond, respond. anytime yes. I call upon that name. Everyone will respond. Today, everyone will respond to our, our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone will respond to our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. I will still need you, but can take a leave. God bless you. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. You know, excitement is contagious. Pastor Gedengue was so excited this morning. And he just handed over the excitement to me. I hope I'm going to hand over the excitement to you guys in the name of Jesus. You'll be excited, you'll be joyful in this present every day in Jesus' name. Today is not going to be an exception. Your joy will be full. Let somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. Oh, my God is good. All the time. Hallelujah. Second Kings chapter 6. We are looking at verses 8 and 10. Second Kings chapter 6, verses 8 and 10. Then the king of Syria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall, my, shall be my camp. And the man of God sent unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware that thou pass not such a place, for thither the Syrians are come down. Praise God. Um, we are going to study this scripture. But the first thing I want us to look at is that the king targeted a king. The king of Syria target, targeted a king. I want us to pray for our leaders. You see, I'll be talking, I'll be praying. So, be ready. If your lipstick is going to help you, you know, and disturb you, clean it up. Praise God. The target is against the king. In other words, when the enemy wants to deal decisively with one, the edge is always the target. You understand what I'm saying? 
if you conquer the end of state of a country, the nation is gone. And that's why we need to pray for our leaders. That's the beginning. I tell you something. Who remember Osama bin Laden? Who remember how active Akeda was when he was alive? Everywhere is Akeda. It was after he left that ISIS and all the rest, you know, came up. Yeah. When Obama wanted to deal with Akeda, he went for Osama bin Laden. That's how critical it is to attack the head. I want us to rise up. Let's start from the leadership in this church. Amen. Let's start from the, that every arrow fashioned against our leader. Let it go back to Sender. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every arrow targeted against our leader. Every us, 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 us not against our leader, especially in this parish. Father, let the arrow go back to Sender. Lord, let the arrow go back to Sender. King of glory, return the arrow to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, every program that is made, that is put together to pull down our leaders, Father, let that program fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, let that program fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, let that program fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, man kaso kosheke pora kaka santa kashiriki, reke te sinto kashiriki pora kaha, reke Thank you, our Father. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated. Let's be seated. We're going to pray. Now, if you look at the scripture that we just read, you probably ask me, what's the offense of the king of Judah? that the king of Syria has to wage war against him. I tried to do my research, I don't know, other than some unseen ants that wants to play a game. But guess what? The prophet warned him not to go there. So there's always a guide if you listen to the spirit. So God has given us the conscience and our spirit. Sometimes you want to do something and the spirit just said, don't do it. If you disobey, you are on your own. Mm -hmm. But if you obey, you will be victorious. I want us to put that behind our mind as we pray along, as we talk, and as we pray along in this session. Amen? Amen. Now, who is your king of Syria? Remember what I said? The king of Judah did not offend the king of Syria. But the king of Syria waged war against the king of Judah. So I look at it, I said, the king of Syria represents anything that is at war against you for no reason. It's at war against you for no reason. Do you know that if you give somebody money, they can use the money against you. You bless him and he turns around and says, look at what has, he has done. Who do you think he is? Do you know it happens? Has it ever happened to you? No. Brethren, the Lord will pull them down. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It could be sickness. Some of us can be very careless. You know, that's understandable. But there are sicknesses that just come from nowhere. The work of the enemy. It could be any type of disease. It could even be some of your relatives. They just look at you and it's prospering. That did you said, I mean, there was somebody that I came to to give testimony and it was spoken by Daddy Gio anyway. The lady was looking unto the Lord for a partner. And for ages she couldn't find. She will find they will drop off, she will find she will drop off, drop off until the prophecy came from Daddy Gio. That I said, lady here, blah, 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 and the mother is in charge. Mother in charge. And that's not alien to us. It's not strange. The bottom line was that the woman came, the mother came with the daughter when she confronted her. And then did you ask her, what is our thing? What, what? I believe that when she gets married, she won't take care of me. Can you imagine? And that was the affliction she unlaunched, I mean, unleashed. 
on our daughter for no fault of ours. Let's quickly look at Jeremiah 119. Jeremiah 119. Please put it on to save me time. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, said the Lord, to deliver. Rise up. Let's rise up. In the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, deliver me. When they fight against me, Father, deliver me. When they rise up against me, Father, deliver me. You are my God. Turn it to prayer, brethren. Pray. Forget about your idea. Forget about the lipstick. Pray with your mind, with all your mind. Your Jericho must fall flat today. That red sea must be parted in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, they will fight. My father, they shall fight. They will. That's their, that's their ministry. But my father, you will deliver me. You will deliver me. Father, you will deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you will deliver me. King of glory, you will deliver me. Whether they like it or not, Father, I will be free. I will be free. I will be free in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, you will deliver me. You will set me free from every bondage. Lord, in fight against me, but they will not prevail. They shall not prevail. They shall not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. They will never prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Psalm 34, verse 19. Please sit down. Please, be me, please. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. That is the confidence that we have. You don't need to offend them. They will come after you. They will bring many afflictions, but the promise of our God is that he will deliver you. Amen. Today, the Lord will deliver you Amen. from every affliction in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will deliver you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 27, verses 1 and 2. Real quick. Amen. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid of? Brethren, fear is a tormentor. Fear is a tormentor and it's a very, very potent weapon in the hands of the enemy. Something happened about two weeks ago. Somebody had some cash with him with high denominators and he was suspicious of uh, whether they are fake or not. Praise God. Hallelujah. For the mere fact that they look, you know, about 50 pounds in maybe about 15 pieces. You know, that's a lot. If you get to the bank and they say, well, we are sorry, this is fake. That's money loss, amen? And money here in this country is something. So, should I go to the bank? Should I, what will happen? You know, it was a debate for almost two, three hours. The bottom line was that there's nothing in fear other than fear itself. Anyway, the money got to the bank and the money is good. But for that period, the two of us were, you know, in two more. Ah, if we get there and then almost uh, 2,000 is gone. How are we going to do it? Praise God. There's nothing in fear. And the Lord has said it. He is my salvation. Who should I fear? The enemy? The tormentor? No. Rise up. Father, you are my strength. No more fear. No more worry. I believe in you. You are my strength. No more fear. No more torment. In the mighty name of turn into prayer, brethren. Fear not. God told you. Joshua, several times. Fear not. When God is in your life, why should you be afraid? Why should you be afraid of the enemy? Why should you be afraid of the tormentor? Why should you be afraid of, of mere mortals? The Lord is your strength. The Lord is your strength. He will definitely deliver you. So no more fear. No more fear. Today, tradition fear. In every facet of your life, let fear be gone. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name.
we are there. Amen. Let's look at verse 2. When the wicked, nine enemies and my foes come upon me to heat up my flesh, they stumble and fell. Special prayer, I do pray. Thank you, Jesus. Let the eater of flesh eat their own flesh. Yes. Let the drinkers of blood eat their own Turn into prayer, brethren. Everyone that wants to eat my flesh, everyone that wants to drink my blood, Father, let them eat their own flesh. Let them drink their own blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them eat their own flesh. Let them drink their own blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maka soko sheke pura kaha. Reke te sinto kashire kehe. They will eat their own flesh. They will eat their own flesh. They will drink their own blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maka soko sheke kehe. In Jesus name. We are praying. Please, let's sit down. Let's sit down. Let's look at another prayer point. Isaiah 59 verse 19. Isaiah 59 verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up his standard against them. Amen? Amen. That is the confidence we have in our God. Our God is more than able. He can do it all. The name of Jesus will elevate you. Amen. And the Spirit of God will rise in standard against them. Amen. Whoever stands up against you will fall for your own sake. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When they come, like Caesarea against the people of Israel. Caesarea was a very, very mighty warrior. He had all the weapons that he needed to execute war in less than an hour. The Bible tells me that he has 500 houses of iron. It's like America facing Nigeria. Praise God. Hallelujah. But what caused his end? A woman killed him. A woman killed him. He ran away from the battle. That is what God can do. Praise God. Hallelujah. What type of storm are you going through? What do you think is your challenge in life? Are you so afraid that you cannot... Take it to God. There are so many things that we lose out just because we are not close to the ground on our knees. When you pray, God answers. The choir said, when we when you call upon Jesus, something happens and heaven responds. The Lord will respond to your case this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is time for fasting and prayer. So don't blame you. We are praying. This is the season to pray. Because I know this is the season for breakthrough. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we are going to pray. Father, defend me Father, against my adversary, no matter how powerful. Father, defend me. When God defends you, your, your enemy is in trouble. Father, defend me against my adversary, no matter how powerful they are. Father, defend me. Father, defend me. Father, be my defense. Oh, Father, be my defense. No matter how powerful my enemies are, be my defense, my Father. Every adversary is of my life. Oh, be my defense against them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Marco Soko Shireke. Reke Te Sinto Kashireke. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise God. Luke chapter 13, verses 10 to 13. Luke 13, 10 to 13. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity, 18 years, and was bowed together, and could no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said, Unto him, woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. Amen. The question is, what did the woman? What was, what was our offense? For her to be bound by the enemy, nothing. Just like you probably done nothing to your enemies. They just look at you and say, this gun must suffer. Have you ever had that statement before? Somebody just look at you and say, hey, you, you, you suffer. For nothing you've done, it happens. But when you come in contact with Jesus, what happens? The Lord will lose your infirmity. Hallelujah. Father, set me free. Any form of infirmity that the enemy has put in my life, Father, set me free today. The woman was 
hand by Satan, by the enemy, for no reason whatsoever, set me free. Father, deliver me and set me free from every form of infirmity in my life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayer. Mark chapter 5, Mark chapter 5, verses 25 to 34. It's a long story, but we know it. It's the story of the woman with the issue of blood. Yet she has done nothing. She didn't do anything. But the devil afflicted her with issues of blood for 12 years, you can imagine. She was already a cast out, cast away. She was already out, you know, outside the realm of those that are healthy. The physician took her money. They run her down financially. They messed up her head for no reason whatsoever until she met Jesus. And the things turn around. We are here to meet with him. And our situation will change in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look at Matthew 12, verses 10 to 13. Matthew 12. 10 to 13. We're looking at the man with the withered hand. Let's quickly look at that. Matthew 12, 10 to 13. And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered. And he asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day that they might accuse him? Come on, 11. And he said unto them, What man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep? And if it falls into the pit on the Sabbath day, that he will not lay hold on it and lift it. Actually, where we are going is this. Even when God is ready to release you, there are adversaries. Don't do it. Do you know that? They stand up against even your victory. They're going to rise up. Everyone that is standing against my breakthrough, Father, pull him down. Tear him apart in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that wants to stand against my breakthrough, anyone that wants to stand against my, my moving forward, Father, destroy them. Tear them apart in the mighty name of Jesus. Tear them apart in the mighty name of Jesus. Tear them apart. Tear them apart. Thank you, our Father. From that statement, another, another prayer point is everything that is dead in my life, come back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that has withered, everything that is dead in my life, today, come back to life be revived in the mighty name of Jesus. Be revived in the mighty name of Jesus. Be revived in the mighty name of Jesus. Why, everything that is withered in my life, everything that is dead. In my life today, resurrect in the mighty name of Jesus. The power that raised Jesus Christ up. Oh, let it descend upon us now and upon every death situation of our life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Let's quickly look at John 5, verses 1 to 40. It's a long story. John 5, we can write it down because of time. Here we talk about the man. It's a story that is very we are very familiar with. The man at the pool of Bethsaida. He was at the pool of Bethsaida. Even if he offended somebody for 38 years, brother. Hello. I call it absolute wickedness. Absolute wickedness. And unfortunately, by the time the angel comes, so you know, see the water. He's prevented from getting in there. For 38 years. Sammy said we have 70 years. I have 120 years. Anyway. Praise God. But even if it is 100 years, 38 that's 38% of, 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 of his life, even if he has 100. Praise God. For 38 years, he was bound. He was in infamity. He was, if headache knocks for one hour on any one of us, ah, God, this, you see, we are not always grateful to what God is doing to us, you know. Every time. We are not always grateful. But when God visits you with a little pain, ah, Lord, this one is too much now. Ah, uh ah, -uh, this headache, for five minutes, this headache is too much. It is then we know that God has done something great for us. Amen? Amen? If you close your nose for just about two minutes and you shut off your breath, I know a lot of us will be gaffing. Praise God. 
bed for 38 years. This man was in bondage. And when help comes, yearly, is prevented from getting in there. I call it wickedness of the ISL. And I tell you, to devil, it's not wickedness, it's doing his ministry. That's his ministry. That is, that's what he's bound to do. So it's not a surprise. To people like us here, it's a surprise. To him, he's doing that. Can you imagine a witch asking, I mean, preventing her daughter from getting married? She thinks she's doing something good. Can you imagine somebody who kills her own daughter or his own son? Or, you know? And he thinks that is the way the devil works. Somebody said, devil is a bad devil. Ah, devil is better than their bodies. Amen. We're going to pray. Every long-standing bondage. This is an annual event in your life. Annual, annual, annual reoccurrence of evil pattern. It's been there since birth. And it is coming up every minute. It's coming up, at, it has an anniversary. Every January, something must happen. Every age of 10 in my family, something must happen. It is time for us to ask God to visit it. Every long standing bondage in my life be broken now in the mighty name of Jesus. Be broken now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every long standing bondage. Mata Soro Kusoro Kusheke Potakaha. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In Jesus' name we are praying. Mark 2, chapter 2. Mark chapter 2. Verses 1 to 12. That's the story of the paralytic. I don't know what he did. But I know. He was bound down. He could not move his legs. He could not move his hands. He could not do anything on his own. His disability is even great. His, his disability is to power whatever. Amen? But when he met Jesus, something changed. Heavens opened. Answers came from heaven. He got help from his friends. They could not gain entrance. There was barrier. There was a limitation. People flooded the whole house. They were minding their own business. They wanted to get in touch with Jesus Christ. This helpless man, helpless raised to power too, was there. He needed a touch. But God sent help to his friends. They opened the roof and brought him down. And he got, got his deliverance. Let's try some. Father, those that you have ordained to help me, ah, send them down now. Those that you have ordained to help me, send them to me now. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, those that you have ordained oh, to help me, to help me with my breakthrough, Father, send them to me. Send them to me. Send them to me. Those that you have ordained to be my helper, King of Glory, send them to me now. In the mighty name of Jesus, send them to me now. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Another important thing about that story is that he found favor with Jesus. He found favor. That very day, he found... Jesus said, your sin is forgiven. Yes, he had sinned. But it was his mercy that set him free. We are going to pray. Father, let me find favor. Let me find favor. Today, let me find favor. Today, let me find favor. Father, favor me today. God, favor me today. By your favor, I am set free. By your favor, I am here. Let me find favor in you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name, we are prayer. Matthew 10, verse 46 to 52. It's a popular story. Matthew, sorry, Mark 10. Mark 10. Mark 10. That's the story of the blind Bartimaeus. He's been blind, he's been on the street begging. That particular time when Jesus Christ was passing through the street, he came up and said, he even described Jesus to the root, to the foundation of his feet. And Jesus got that attention. Who is that man that knows me, even close to my great grandfather David? And he got the attention of Jesus Christ. But guess what? Even people prevented him from getting to Jesus. People are saying, just shut up, it's not here for you. Keep your mouth shut, it's not here for you. His garment wanted to prevent him. What did he do? He cast it away. Whatever is going to hinder you from being touched by the Almighty today, the Lord will turn it to pieces. And it will cast fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. It will cast fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. My time is getting up. Amen. I'm seeing the mood of prayer. Oh Lord. Mark 5, 1 to 15, the madman of Gadara. Let's let's run it up there. The madman of Gadara. Mark 5, 1 to 15. Blessed. The man was loaded with demons. I'm very sure nobody wants to sit down and invite demons into his life. He did not have only one or two demons, or even seven, like uh, uh, Mary, uh, Mary McGrallin. He had legion, that's thousands. And imagine the thousands being cast away into the swine and over 200 swines landing. To Can you imagine? Some enemies have loaded us with different types of things. So many tormentors around. We are going to pray as I round up. Every tormentor of my life, I challenge you the power of the blood of Jesus. Get out now. In that every demonic operation going on in my life, I command you to get out now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command you to try to get out of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, every tormentor of my life, I challenge you with the power of the blood of Jesus. I come I challenge you with the power that is the blood of Jesus. Oh, the reason Jesus is against you. Every tormentor of my life, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Lastly, I want also, you know, there are some afflictions. People want to get to us. They want to get to us, but we are barricaded. So they want to go through our children. We are going to pray specifically for that this morning. Let's look at Matthew. I have Matthew 17 and Matthew 15, but let's quickly look at Matthew 15 because of time. Matthew 15, verses 22 to 28. And I want us to read it, please, with understanding. Matthew 15. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord. Thou son of David, my daughter is grievously fenced with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciple came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him and said, Lord, help me. Hallelujah. Brethren, even, but he answered, you know the story, because of time. Even the woman was insulted. She was compared to dogs. Apart from the disciples who never even want people to get near their uh, Jesus PR bodyguards. They don't want people to just get through him. There are barriers installed. But this woman knows what affliction she's suffering through her daughter. Some of us are going through hell because our children have been afflicted. Some of us are so uncomfortable because you don't know what is going to happen to your daughter. And next time, they, they call you from school and your daughter is so, so. When my son was sick, when I'm in the office, I'm restless. Because any phone call I call, that's in Nigeria, is meet me at loot because the boy is on admission. The business for that day is gone and destroyed. Some people want to get through us, through our children. We are going to rise up 
and this is the final prayer. Any power that wants to torment me through my child to inflict pains on me, Lord, let them catch fire. Let them catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that wants to torment me through my children, Father, let that power catch fire. Let that power be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the power be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father, for in Jesus' name we are praying. Before I round up, sorry, sir, one minute. I want to give all that we must we must rejoice because our, the victory is done. Hallelujah. The mantle Hallelujah. is moved. I'm not going to prepare your pastor. We pray, Hallelujah. but she's going to give me the support me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> My favorite song now. Do you want to just start us? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus is the only Savior I know. Jesus is the only Savior I know. Jesus is the only Savior I know. Jesus is the only He's the only he